Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll try to understand what is the difference between edit and the contribute permission levels in the SharePoint Online. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's understand this. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and I have created one site with the name of permissions. Let me open this in the new tab. All right, and we have the document library. Okay, inside this I have created two files. One is the Word document and one, one is the Excel document. Now we have to differentiate between the edit and the contribute permission levels. In edit permission, we can add, edit, delete, list, and can view, add, update, and delete list items and documents. However, in contribute permission, we can view add update and delete list items and documents so now the question is what is the difference between in the ability of add edit and the delete list so let's differentiate that so as of now if i will click on the gear icon let me click on site permissions i am the only uh, site owner however i have not added any member as well as the visitor if i will go to advanced permission settings here we have the three groups by default, when we create the site, these default groups get created. Edit, full control and read. Uh, I have the full control as of now and I'm the part of the permissions owner group. So now I will click on permission levels. From here, you can read about the different type of permission levels. So now on this video, as we are differentiating between the edit and the contribute permission. So edit, as I've already informed, can add, edit, delete list, can view, add, update, and delete list items and documents. And on contribute, we can view, add, update, delete list items and documents. Now we have to differentiate between both of them. So what we'll do, we'll go a step back. And on this particular document library, I will grant permission to my two users. For one user, I will give the permission of edit and for other user, I will give the permission of contribute. Simple. So now I will click on grant permission. Here, let me invite the people to this uh, document library. Here, I will first give the permission to my user name edit. Let me select his name show options and here i will give him the permission of edit all right let me share this document library with him okay if i will refresh his name will be display here okay now i will grant the permission to the my user contribute so i have already created the user with the name of contribute so that we don't have any sort of confusion in this so contribute user is selected show options and here I will give him the permission of contribute. Let me share this document library with him as well. All right. His name is also here. Now let's go back to the document library. All right. Now our edit user has the edit and the contribute user has the contribute permission respectively on this document library. Now let's try to understand the difference between both the permission levels. Okay, friends. So in different browser, I have logged in using the credentials of user edit let me try to access the document library using the credentials of edit user okay so edit user has the edit permission and he can you can see the add new document new folder and create any new file and can also delete this particular uh, document you can see all the options can download as well if you will go on site contents he can also add a new document library list page and the apps user has a permission added permission on this document library okay now let's open this document library using the credentials of contribute user so we'll go on the different tab and let's see the difference okay so we have logged in using the credentials of contribute user let me try to access the document library all right so you won't be able to see any major difference in the permission levels of edit and contribute. You can see this users can also open, view and share, del download, delete the particular document, can also add the folder, word document because he has the contribute permissions. If we will go on the site contents, 
here he can only add the page he can't create any uh, document library you can see that he is only getting the option to add the page not the document library inside the document library contribute uh, the user who has the contribute permission can't add the metadata or can't add the custom columns he can he will only get the option of show and hide columns that's it one more most important thing to note like the user who has the contribute permission on the document library if he will click on the gear icon he is also not getting the option to go on the library settings he can only go to the site contents that's it and from the site contents he is not getting the option to go to the site settings and he is not able to you know customize the library settings he will not be able to delete the document library manage the files which is no checked in versions workflow settings apply labels to the items list or library and the enterprise metadata and keyword settings so this is the difference between the edit and the contribute permissions now let's go back to the user who has the edit permission all right so this is my user name edit like this user can also create the new document library so the user who has the edit permission if i'll click on the gear icon has the option to change the library setting or modify let me click on more library settings all right so the user with the edit permission can delete the document library manage files with no checked in versions and you can see the version any settings advanced settings and rest all the settings let me click on advanced settings you can see the user with the edit permission has the option to specify whether to allow the management of the content types the document templates whether he wants to open the file in the client application or the browser by default it is selected to the default and the rest of the things like the folder search all these settings can be modified by the user who has the added permissions so friends this is the major difference between the permission levels of the edit and the contribute if you have any doubts or have queries you can post it down in the comment section of this video that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video